The propeller shaft of an inboard powered boat traditionally spins in a stern bearing, a tube and an inner gland. On my 24 foot traditional carval plank ranger, this tube goes through about two feet of stern post and deadwood. I drilled a pilot hole from both ends with only a slight misalignment in the middle and then I proceeded to drill through with incrementally larger drills until I had a clear hole larger than the diameter of my boring bar. A string line on the true centre line of the shaft enabled me to locate the bearings in which the boring bar will spin. It's best to do this early on in the construction process to make it easier to clamp the bearings in place. The boring bar is fitted with several positions for an adjustable cutter. The boring bar has to be long enough to fit through both bearings plus a bit more than the distance that the adjustable cutter has to travel through the timber. I didn't attempt to drill out the full inch and a half tube diameter in one go. I adjusted the cutter incrementally to take out about a sixteenth of an inch at a time. A regular power drill will drive the boring bar if you don't try to take too big a cut. I drilled right through with each incremental increase in diameter of the cutters. Each end of the hole needs to be drilled out for the larger diameter of the bearing and the gland. I had to carefully judge the diameter and depth with constant checking. All parts need to have a slide-in fit. Once happy with the fit, I put the tube through and attached the gland on the inside and the bearing on the outside. This is just a dry fit. I'll bed it in and bolt it in place in a final fit later in the process. I'll set up another string line through the shaft hole when it's time to work out the heights for the engine beds.